back to the southern snack where life was too short to be serious all right for once i made it to kung fu tea for one of their new items and i, I just i'm I, i'm kind of i don't know frustrated flustered with kung fu tea as of late they did a new uh cereal milk uh beverage using the chobani cereal milk and i knew that was not gonna last long i knew that and i should have been patient on that and i should have said you know it's okay i missed out but then they did a kung fu panda menu and they only did it for two weeks and i didn't read up on it and all these food sources they don't talk about kung fu tea anymore so of course i roll up i and I, I get mad because it's too late. And I really wanted to try the cookies and cream Kung Fu Panda milk tea thing. But it is what it is. They've got a uh, Princess Peach uh, lineup for like a month and a half. And again, that's why I'm frustrated. It's because you did Kung Fu Panda for two weeks. And now you're just, you, you love Princess Peaches. What are we, Bowser up in here? You're obsessed? I don't know. But let's go ahead and try this. Let's go ahead post for the thumbnail and I guess this is peaches and cream that's what I could gather peaches and cream slush it's called peach milk cap so there's the milk cap not like a super creamy flavor here But it's good. It's not overly sweet. It's definitely not our to me it's not artificial. It tastes like fresh peach. Very enjoyable. Flavorful. Nothing like over the top, but it's worth it. Yeah. That's a refreshing slush. I'm gonna give it a seven and a half. Simple as that. Nice, refreshing, chilling, peachy, not artificial, but not, not as bold as it could be. So there's a little bit of negativity, but mostly a very positive outcome for this one. So go get the peach slush from Kung Fu Tea. Um, there's a couple other Princess Peach themed beverages, but this is the one that I was really intrigued by. So I enjoyed it. It worked out. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this review and I'll see y'all around. Yay!